I thought I'll find you here. Guess what happened to me yesterday? It must be really good, since it got you all smiling. Well, kinda. <laughs> well, tell me. Jake finally asked me out yesterday. Then, he invited me to a party. Huh? Really, tell me, what was your response? I agreed. Whoa. You agreed? Yes, Bridget. Is something wrong? I thought you wanted this for me too. Yes I did, Amanda. Just that I didn't know it would be this fast. Hmm. Funny Amanda, of course I'm happy for you. Thanks. We need to hurry to drama rehearsal. Aren't you coming? I'll be right behind you. I just need to make a phone call. Alright, don't take long. You know how Mr. Quinn can be. Alright, I won't. See you soon. I really do need to make that phone call. Hello. Hi. I'm calling to ask if you were able to get what I asked for. Yes. I've sent the location to your phone. Thanks so much for your help. Since that is done, I need to call Eleanor right away. Hello, Eleanor. This must be important. You just interrupted my fashion class. Calm down, Eleanor. And it is important. It's about Amanda, our friend. So, meet me at the school library right away. All right. I'll be there soon. She better gets here fast. Amanda, what took you so long? I'm so sorry, Mr. Quinn. Right. Well, hurry. Let's start this rehearsal. Thank you so much, Mr. Quinn. I, most dear mistress, the sun will set before I shall discharge, what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. Pray give me that, I'll carry it to the pile. No, precious creature, I had rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor undergo, while I sit lazy by. It would become me, as well as it does you, and I should do it with much more ease, for my good will is to it, and yours it is against. Bravo, bravo, very well performed, well done Amanda, well done Mark. Let's take a short break and return for the next act. Isn't that the guy from class who rejected to play the role of Ferdinand? Has he been standing there for long? Where is he going? I thought I saw him come in here. Or, maybe I was wrong. I'm sorry. No, it's alright. I was just looking for you. For me? Why? I saw you earlier. But you left almost immediately so, I followed you. Why would you do that? Um... I was curious. So, I'll have to ask. Why did you reject the role? The role. Yes, the role of Ferdinand from The Tempest. Oh. Well, you see, acting isn't really my thing. I see. Are you sure? Because, the role really would suit you well. You don't know me, Amanda. Hmm. You were right Samuel. I barely even noticed you in class. I'm so sorry for assuming. Just that, when I saw you today at rehearsal, I thought maybe you regretted not taking the role. Or, is it because you don't like me? And you rejected the role because I'm playing Miranda. Relax Amanda, you are a great actor and anyone would be honored to act with you. I really am bad at acting and I definitely don't dislike you. How can I? Well, that's a relief. Thanks for saying that. You are welcome, Amanda. I should get going before Mr. Quinn starts looking for me, again. Alright then. See you later, Samuel. You had to take your time. Sure, you didn't really expect me to hurry here, right? So, did you get it? Yes. I told you but you wouldn't believe me. I know don't rub it in. I understand it is dangerous, but we need a plan. Eleanor, this is going to break Amanda. 
I'm aware of that too. But I have a plan. You're going on that date with Jake? I am. He'll be picking me up by 9 tonight. Well, that's nice. Hope you've picked what you'll wear. Or, Bridget and I can come over and help you select the best dress. <laughs> Thanks Elena for the kind offer. But I have already selected what I'll wear. I won't let my fashion disappoint you. You better don't. Hello, Amanda. Hi, Mark. Who's that? Isn't that Mark, from literature class? Oh, the guy you are paired with to play the Tempest. <laughs> are you two, like, close now? Close, no, well, kinda. We are acting a play together so, I can say we are friends. I mean, he's cute and very funny too. <laughs> Stop it you two, please. Okay, we will. I have something to tell you too. I found another letter in my locker this morning. From your same secret admirer. I guess. What did it say? Well, in a nutshell, whoever it is writing the letter thinks it's a good time to reveal himself. Really? Does he want to meet? When? Tonight. Isn't your date with Jake tonight? Well, since the mysterious person behind the letters wants to meet before the time of Jake's party, I plan on telling Jake that I will meet him at the party, instead of him coming to pick me up. That can work. Yes, the restaurant he chose is an open place. So, I think I'm safe. And it's not too far from the party. I can easily access both places with ease. Have you thought, if maybe the mysterious person is Jake? That will be great. That simply means he wants to first reveal himself to me before officially taking me on that date. If that be the case, make sure to call us, so we know you are fine. That's very important. I will, Bridget, and thank you both for your concern. If you'll excuse me girls, I quickly need to check something with Mr. Quinn. Alright. Bridget, do you think Amanda will make it? I hope she does. If not, everything we've planned will be a waste. True. I totally agree.